Sometimes I ask myself why I even bother. I mean, it's not like Joseph's even my son. <coughs> what? That, that's crazy. Why would you say something like that? Now that Joseph's hit puberty, the differences are impossible to ignore. We don't look alike. We don't have the same interests. Oh, come on. Sometimes I think the only thing Bobby and I have in common is our waist size. True, but get this. I recently saw on the Discovery Channel that it takes nine months to make a baby. Well, nine months before Joseph was born, me and my reproductive organs were 500 miles away in Marfa, Texas. For years, alien spaceships have appeared in the skies above Marfa. The lunatic fringe have dismissed these so-called Marfa lights as swamp gas, experimental aircraft, or weather balloons. So I went on a research trip to debunk these wacko theories. Nancy had a horrible headache and couldn't travel. So I asked John Redcorn to stay at the house to protect her while I was gone. I thought I was being so smart, but I have never been so stupid. Oh, Dale, I'm so sorry. The truth has been right in front of me all these years. Joseph's real father is... Nancy loves you! An alien! What? The aliens knew I was getting too close to the truth. Exactly what truth? I have no idea, but I was close. They had to do something to distract me. And what better way than a lifelong distraction? A child. So they impregnated Nancy with their highly potent space juice. As nefarious schemes often do, it worked. For the past 13 years, I have been too busy raising an alleged son to maintain constant surveillance. Uh, I really don't think Joseph is an alien child. Well, I didn't impregnate Nancy, so who did? Huh? You got a better explanation? Ah, uh, oh, well, uh, no. What other explanation could there be? Yep, spacemen. Okay, so the reason why I don't relate to my son is that he is an extraterrestrial being. I don't know what your problem with Bobby is. Guess you're just a crappy dad.